Welcome to Infinity Art Studio. This is my home studio, a place that few have seen. I decided a few weeks ago after a, a group of women asked if they could come and see my studio. We had so much fun and they asked me if I would teach them how to do things and I realized it's long overdue. The, the teacher in me is ready. You know the expression, when the student's ready, the teacher will appear? Well, it works both ways. Here in my studio, I am ready for the students to arrive. You know, they say you attract what you're in harmony with. Well, I've been honing my skills as an artist, as a coach, as a mentor, as a, a guide to finding your true uh, inspiration in life for many years. Now it's time to take it home, to bring it right back into my own studio where others can join me. Um, you think in terms of the little girl who used to play with chalk on the sidewalk. When you're working with encaustic paints, it brings out the inner child in you. You have a chance to reconnect with your passion, to find out what's exciting for you, to become open-minded again and experiment, and to be with others in the process of self-discovery. You can see all the books I love to read, and some of my paintings are here to kind of show the ladies what's possible when you use encaustic, whether it's a lot of heat or a little bit of heat, how you can do mixed media, you can combine it with other materials, you can incorporate found objects, you can work with oil sticks and pastels. I'll lift that up, you can see some of the oil sticks underneath here, and then some of the paints here. What happens is when you heat this all to 150 degrees, it melts, and then you're using a, a heat gun or a blowtorch or a hot iron, or maybe a, um, like a wood work, uh, burning tool here. Underneath here, I've got different paints as well, just covered up, you know, because of the heat and all that. When, as soon as I turn the palette on, they're going to melt. And I've got other uh, rosin and uh, um, beeswax melting here. That's medium. And that'll be clear once it's good and hot. And lots of brushes to choose from. People can paint on wood. They can paint on small pieces of paper. They can incorporate string. They can do stenciling and all kinds of stuff. Lots of interesting books to choose from and samples of previous paintings I've done that show various techniques. So, that's all. I just... I, finally decided to open the door to what's possible as, a, as sharing my inspiration and letting others come and reignite their passion for being creative too. So if you're interested in learning more about how you can come and paint and play, give me a call. Let me know. All right. Bye-bye for now.